am i a feral book reader hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i want to do a 24 hour readathon i'm going to do the time method because i don't have the capacity at this point in my life to do straight um and i just think the time method would be more useful so it's currently like what time is it it's currently quarter to three on a thursday um i kind of want to have this done by like sunday i think sunday would be ideal if i got it done saturday night perfect Pro i doubt it though yeah so i kind of want for this video to do i want to do like fantasy and thriller i just think for october it's a perfect time to do that um and last night i did start divine my eyeballs by rebecca ross um i i've put off like I've not read like in this past week because I've been putting off reading to A film this intro but also B because I'd been thinking originally that I should just do the books that are on my currently reading to cut that down even further because last month I did my seven books in seven days but I was I'm not in the mood for them at this point and I this has just been staring at me and I just wanted to read it I do own um, Ruth Bliss Vows as well, also in this copy, like in this typewriter, like cover. Um, I got these from the US. My cousin brought them over when she came to visit. Very grateful for her. Um, I just, don't get me wrong, I do like the people covers. And if, if she wasn't coming over, like if she hadn't come over this year, I would definitely have picked up the people copies in the paperback but because she was coming over I got her to pick me up the hard covers because the paperback wasn't coming out of this wasn't coming out until like September um I'm, pretty, I'm surprised that like Tesco haven't had that in I feel like I don't know um but anyway I read so last night I read 55 pages I kind of it was so easy to read like the chapters are quite like they're not short short but having read up to 55 that was a total of six chapters like the next time i pick it up i'll pick it up on chapter seven so obviously that's less than 10 pages so easy to read so captivating the story is so easy so interesting and like you're learning like new bits i i think this is slightly historical in nature but also it feels but also i don't think it is because so far in this book the term swell was used and i feel like that's more of like a new person thing but then like i feel like that's not an old term saying it might be i just i feel like swell was made more popular in like the past few years then there's the like historical elements of the setting um and like the the whole use of like the typewriters and everything and so that word did just throw me off it could have been used for so many years and sometimes it feels like modern people but in like a historical context um but i'm excited to see how this plays on i do like the story of like the gods so far um and like how that plays out and i do think i'd be interested and i know that book two focuses more on the gods than it does on the like romance element and so i would definitely be interested in reading ruthless vows um because this writing is just so easy so engaging i just i love the way that it's written um i don't know whether i'll start the time exactly now or whether i'll give it a moment but i just i wanted to film this intro so that then i can like give updates i just i know I know um and during this video at some like on Saturday I am getting my hair done I have to get the patch desk done today it's currently on my arm I'm being really careful of it just because it was like put on my arm limbered the plaster over the top and I'm just trying to keep that all in place I don't want it to pull at all um but I'm not I'm not doing like drastic at all um 
still going to be like a brunette it's just going to be like a different kind of shade of brunette and I'm excited I've not done it before I might not like it but yeah so that's kind of what you'll see in this video I did oh a mini book haul I picked up a few books recently so I kind of want to show them all so first book I picked up was The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer I've seen this all about I feel like I've filmed the clip but also I might not have done um I've seen this about this was definitely I saw it last year but I think it seems to be making its way round again this year because of the time of year it is. Maybe I'll pick this up um, in this video, I don't know. Because um, my, I need to add Divine Rivals into my currently reading but and once I have added that in my currently reading will be set at like 16 books which to some of you might seem like a lot but to me there's like a different, there's like a range of genres it feels like a bit more manageable for me to then be able to go and like actually pick up a different book that's not on there um and I will definitely get through those books just probably on a, at a more slower pace. Follows a teacher who wants to a copy of a book from her favourite author and also wants to adopt her students but she can't afford to um and then basically her doing this contest to win this copy of this final book can not only help her read like a book from her favourite author but it can also help her afford to adopt her student. There might be a bit of a romance as well. Um, but yeah that's the first book and I literally, I wasn't even planning on buying this. I went into the works looking for a different book and I saw this and I was immediately I was like I am picking this up let's go to the keep going on with the three for six because you know um then the next book I picked up was The Housemaid's Secret now since buying this I am wondering whether I have whether I already own this did I purchase this for like a fiver at Tesco because I know I have the housemaid with, housemaid with me but I'm thinking that I might have the housemaid secret but at home. This would be the second time that I've bought a second copy. Like I know I want to read this and I know that for a while I couldn't find it in the works. And then because I wanted to get a third book for the, for this three for six, um, because otherwise it would have come to like five pounds in total, I picked up the Bingo Hall Detectives. Also, The Housemaid's Secret just kind of follows along. It's a slightly different plot, different household. Probably the same familiar, not familiar, like similar element. Um, this is a bing This is where there's a murder in the Lake District um, and this bing members of this bingo club um, try to catch the person who did it. Um, this very much gives um, Thursday Murder Club I do want to read book two. Oh, I love that is so oh my god i love that so much chapter one is called kelly's eye which for anyone who's ever been in a bingo hall is the like bingo slang for the number one and also the page numbers are in like bingo balls like you know how you can have them in like the cage and like you'll turn the thing and it'll come down and it'll have like a number on the page numbers are literally and it's not just page one as well like page two is what's chapter two called chapter two is called one little duck because 22 is two little ducks and then quack quack you always have to do quack quack also the text is like a nice size as well what's chapter three called chapter three is cup of tea that's not one that i know of but i only know of like the really common ones chapter four knock at the door why is this oh my god i love that so much and that is such a fun quirk it's by jonathan whitelaw that is such a fun thing apparently this is first published in 2022 but that is such a fun idea oh my god um i'm gonna love like when i get around to reading that i'm gonna love reading that because of that um and then the book that actually went in for the rule book by sarah adams now i've not read the cheat sheet but i figured i put it on my christmas list i know um 
but I figured I would pick this one up because it's three pounds and I am interested to read it. Now I read her When in Rome series out of order so I did read Practice Makes Perfect first without fully realising that it was part of an internet interconnected standalone series. Obviously I know that this is but I I wanted this. I because I feel like the works didn't really come out with the cheat sheet. I could be wrong but I don't feel like the cheat sheet was in the works. It might have been and I might not have just known about the author at the time so I didn't pick it up. But this one, the, it's like a, I think it's like a sports series. I don't know if, if it's all um, NFL. I don't own the whole when I'm wearing practice makes perfect and I think because I read them on my Kindle I don't think I want to own them physically. I don't know, like, When in Rome was alright. Practice Makes Perfect a little bit better, but I don't think I want to not read the book. I don't think I want to own it. But I don't know, this just, I loved the cover so much that I was like, I need to pick it up. So I have. I do want to pick up the Cinnamon Bun bookstore though, because um, it's currently out now. Obviously it's been out for a while, but it's like properly in stores now. Um, I recently bought Pumpkin Spice Cafe. I haven't read that yet. Maybe I should read that before buying the Cinnamon Bun bookstore. But also I like to give authors second chances. Um, I feel like it's good to give second chances. Which is also why I'm reading more Sarah Adams because her books are fine. They're like good escapism. Like I'm, I enjoy the reads. But they don't like... Mm. <laughs> but that's why I wanted to own the rule book. But I think I want to... Oh, um, get the cheat sheet and read the cheat sheet first. Also, the rule book isn't giving me like November or December reading vibes. It's more like a March thing. And so I think I need the cheat sheet first. But I know that the works makes a cycle. Anyway, at some point today, I will start my 24 hour clock and I will definitely be picking this one up. I had to put it down at like quarter past one this morning. Um, and I was sad about it. I in the moment wish that I had more time. It was probably good that I didn't have like an extra hour because I would probably have just got to a really, really good part that I wasn't able to put down. Um, and so at least, because I was only like 55 pages in, it was an okay place to put it down. Um, but I have rambled. We know that I like to ramble. It's now Saturday and how long have I read for? 18 and a half minutes. When did I film that clip? Like Thursday night? <clears throat> and I didn't even finish, I didn't even continue reading Divine Rivals. I started a Riley Sager book, um, Survive the Night. I started that book. Um, anyway, as you can see, I got my hair done. It looks a bit weird at the moment because we've got the, like the harsh lines. I've tried, to, I've managed to get some off up here. It's because I've got the odd her starting here so it looks really harsh um but I'm really happy with the colour I wanted one where when the light hit it was more like red and I am really liking it it is a gloomy day so you can't fully see the redness but you can also can see it um but my hair is literally that soft um and I got it cut um it came much lower before um and I'm really happy with the length I got I um, do not want to eat hair. Um, I got, <clears throat> in the terms of what I asked for, I got like three and a half off in total. I was like, to start with, I was like two inches. And then after we'd done the hair dye, um, while she was doing something, I kind of turned and looked at the length on my back. Because for me, so it comes to here. For me, I judge it based off of where it falls on my back. And it used to fall much lower and I didn't realise like two inches wouldn't kind of be enough because in my head I've been toying between like two and three and I thought if I go for two I can always ask her to take a little bit more off um which is what I did do because I knew that I would again lose some from like shrinkage from when it was like dry because obviously you get a little bit more bounce but obviously because it's been freshly dyed it's that like really really soft hair but yeah, you can kind of see here, like, this, 
that is what I wanted. I wanted that. Um, and it's funny because like a month ago, my nana asked me, do you want me to book you in to get your hair cut? Um, ready for holiday? And I was like, yeah, no, I don't need it. <laughs> of course, half a week ago, I was like, mm, maybe I need to cut it. Um, and I was just really glad that I found a hairdresser that had availability. My mum's using getting nails done for the holiday as an excuse, so um, I got my hair done. I think I've done something similar to this before. Um, I don't remember exactly because last time I got my hair done was like 2021. So a long time. It was like end of 2021, I think. Um, it was probably around the same time when I did that, like really short. Um, which is wild because obviously I've now got this length. But this just feels more manageable. Like now, putting my hair up in a ponytail, it's not gonna go like so much lower and it's just gonna be so nice out. And why is this like a little vibe? Like I know I've got this bump here, but why is this ponytail actually a vibe? It's always when you're mock doing a ponytail that you get like the best ponytail. You can kind of see the red a bit more now, um, but yeah much shorter like still not like the length of i could just go to work and just put it up in a ponytail i never do my ponytails at this length um but yeah basically i haven't read so this is gonna go on into next week it definitely won't finish on monday or tuesday because i'm working probably looking at good thursday i do need to read though but i think i need to edit first okay so it's now uh, is it the next day so yesterday Obviously, I told you I'd only read for 20 minutes um, at the point when I filmed that clip. Then I filmed, not filmed, then I read, I think by the time I went to sleep, I want to say I had something like 2240 or something like that. Um, what had I read last night? So I had read um, this like very short novella called the bookstore sisters it definitely wasn't a fantasy or a thriller but i had used up all my kindle unlimited like allowance so i was wanting to send one back and that was the shortest that i could do so technically i have finished a novella currently as i'm filming this i have 19 hours and 12 minutes remaining and i have finished divine rivals i don't know what my rating will be i feel like it's probably like a a good 4.5 but like a five on Goodreads because it's definitely worth a five and I could definitely round it up to like a 4.755 the more I think about it. I took the just jacket off because it was annoying me when I was reading it in bed because I think I did read some more of this yesterday um, but I started today have, not having read much, maybe having only read like a third and then I finished, obviously I finished this book four hours and 45 like 47 minutes um and technically i finished two obviously again i'd already started this i am going to continue working on survive the night i'm still only about like 20 pages in that i was last time next time i pick it up i'll be on page 22 and i'm also because i'm not going to be in my house for a few days i'm also taking let's split up by bill wood which is part of my october tbr um because have i read any from my october tbr no um and that's why i'd got the bookstore sisters off because what looks beyond the veil is on kindle unlimited and i wanted to clear up space so i could borrow it i'll probably read more tonight um and maybe tiny bits like tomorrow um because i've got a little bit more time tomorrow um but there won't be any reading done on tuesday um but i'll keep you updated so it's now Wednesday, it's currently almost 10 o'clock on Wednesday. I obviously last updated you, was it Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Um, so I obviously lasted an update on Sunday. Well, I said I had 19 hours and 12 minutes remaining. I did have to go back and look because I was like, hang on a sec, how many, where was I at? Um, so I said that I was going to take Let's Split Up by Bill Wood with me to my Nana's. I did that and I, um, finished the book. When I finished the book, I had 16 hours and 17 minutes 
remaining. I somehow finished this book in less than three hours. Now, I'm not a feral book reader. It was just big text. Like, all that first page, that is big text. I'll show you the next two pages just so you can see that is big text. 334 pages. So it's about slightly quicker than 110 per hour. But again, it's big text. And I promise you it's big text. It's not just me. Um, I might be slightly quicker than some people, but this wasn't just me. I currently have, I think it's like 15 and a half hours remaining, which I know I really want to get this done as much as possible by the end of Thursday, just so that I can get everything ready onto the YouTube system and then I can forget about it and go on holiday because I won't have my laptop with me at all. I wrote this at four stars. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was fast. It was quick. It kept me captivated. I did very slightly guess the end. I don't know how. There was, I don't think there was any contextual clues. I think it was just, there was a scene and I was like, hang on a second. Is this what's going to happen? And it was. But at the same time, I think that was just my mind went, hang on, that's going to be it. Um, and I just so happened to be correct. Um, I did have the works like stenciled edge edition, um, which obviously just adds to the bonus. I would definitely recommend it's a YA as well. Very, very, very slight romance. And the representation is good as well. Um, and there was like an interpersonal mystery as well, which I enjoyed. Yeah. And also it's like set in a small town. There's this haunted house. So it's a really good time. This definitely isn't like something that's like original. It's like, oh, this isn't like a masterpiece in terms of like something new, but it's a really good time. And I like what was done. I don't know why, but just then I thought this probably has very slight, pretty little eyes vibes. Very slight. I mean, in terms of it's like four friends um, and there's like this mystery. And it's to do with like a classmate. Obviously, I know in Pretty Little Lies, Ali is their like other friend. So that is technically our third. That's two books and then and a short story down. So obviously, I said I now have like fifteen hours and thirty-ish minutes to go. I can't remember exactly. I have been reading Survive the Night by Riley Sager. I've been reading some of my Kindle. I had started it in the physical book. I don't actually know where I put the physical book. It's probably amassed with my pile from what I've been like packing and whatnot but I'm really enjoying this so far basically the plot is this main character going home manages to find someone to give her a ride and she's recently lost someone um to who was murdered and the killer is still out there and she gets and she's on this journey with this person and they potentially could be the killer because certain stuff they tell the main character, Charlie, doesn't add up to what she's kind of found out about him or what she's already been told. Kindle says I have, I think it's like three hours 50 and I'm currently like a quarter of the way through. So that, that would take me to about 11 hours remaining, 11 and a half hours remaining maybe. So it's at least time for one book. Um, I do think because these have been shorter books um, or bigger text, then that's just why I've been getting through it. Also, I had obviously started Divine Rivals beforehand. So even once I finish this, I'd still have like 10 and a half remaining, which is still kind of wild to me. Because technically, in some ways, that's like enough for two books. Because I've definitely become distracted from like YouTube and whatnot. Um, and I definitely didn't start reading early yesterday. So I think to make up for it, I'm probably going to stay up till like maybe 2am, then go to sleep. Okay, so just ignore any mess you see behind me. I'm kind of half in the midst of packing, but also not. So last night I finished Survive the Night by Riley Sager. I now have literally just under 13 hours remaining. Um, so it's going to be a squeeze. Like it's going to be an actual squeeze, especially as I do have stuff that I want to do. Like I need to get some like travel money. I also need to pick up something for dinner um all of that good stuff i might be awake for a while tomorrow but actually i've decided because of how early the flight is the less the less that i sleep tomorrow morning i might actually then have a nap when i get to my nana's which might help me um anyway i rated this five stars 
um i absolutely love this so much i put the tripod in a way where i'm like having to half stand my bed here um loved it it was very slightly slow in the beginning maybe the first quarter it was and but it was like starting to pick up by that point um and like the questions kind of were being thrown out more um and obviously not being answered and by the end i was left questioning although i did guess the ending because my mind made the logical solution of this is too easy and i did not guess the connection between the ma main character and a character in the book but yeah i really enjoyed this this is my first riley saga i read most of this on my kindle so i literally i literally read 21 pages because i've got a dog ear here at the start of a chapter the book that is going to be or oh, is what lies beyond the veil by harper l woods this as you can see it was on my tbr i i'm sticking the raffle tickets on the inside so i know at the end when I'd come to do my wrap up, which ones were which. This is like a floppier book. I've got it from the works though. Um, I think I have the sequel as well. I don't know where I've got the sequel, um, like whereabouts it is. But this, I think is a trilogy or something. Um, and I remember I got these really cheap because I think they must've been on like clearance or something. But basically this is from the um, blurb, this, this is kind of giving Akatar vibes. Um, because it says, for 400 years the veil has protected humans from the fae. And basically it's either get married or a human is told to either get married or go to the veil. And so goes to the veil. Um, so it just sounds like it's going to be really fun. I feel like it's very slightly on the bigger text. It's just, it's like 400 and, 425 pages. Um, but again, I feel like the text is bigger. I'm not choosing books that are bigger text. I'm obviously picking up mainly like fantasy thriller. I know I picked up that bookstore sisters. Again, I explained my reasoning. The moment I finished Survive the Night, I messaged Ailey on like Instagram and was like, you need to read this book because I'd commented on her video being like, oh my God, it's also like, I also own this book or like, and like this other book of her that was on her TBR is also on my TBR. Um, basically we have quite similar tastes. Um, I think she's more into like dark romance than what I am. I don't think I've actually read dark romance so I could be into it. I do have My Dark Romeo um, which I know is like a dark romance. I know it's not the darkest. I do also want to read the Mindfuck series. Um, I'm not going to read those on holiday obviously but then again maybe it'd be a good one to start with like read the first of the Mindfuck series if I've let's say only got like two hours left or something. I don't know. This is my next book. I will update you at some point later today. I'm likely to update you at some point midday to let you know kind of what my thoughts are, how I'm progressing. This is also on Kindle Unlimited, so I might pick it up on the Kindle later. Okay, so it's now just after midnight. I have seven hours and 24 minutes remaining and I have finished What Lies Beyond the Veil. Um, I, I put it as a three star on Goodreads just because it was interesting, but it felt like some of it was very filler and that some of it could be cut down. I did very much from the start kind of know some aspects of the ending, um, because it was kind of obvious that that's what was going to happen. The actual major thing, I didn't what it meant for the main character i did could be a 3.5 probably more like a 3.25 but it is interesting and like what it does and i think i own the sequel somewhere not a bad book i just i don't think it was for me and i don't think it was just a like thing of timing either i don't think i would have ever fully been into this book but i'm glad that i've read it i'm gonna hold on to this book for now in terms of I'm not going to donate it just yet because if I do have the second book and I do enjoy the second book more because I feel like I own the second book is all I'm going to say but obviously if I don't like book two and if I only have like the first two books 
then obviously they can be easy donations but the book that I think I'm going to pick up next is Guess Who by Chris McGeorge this is a thriller it spans the time of three hours um, and basically it's a locked hotel room and there is a body um, and there's people there's like five people in there who are all suspects it's basically finding out who basically they have three hours to find out who did it or they all die apparently i think i bought this from 66 books last december um so almost a year ago at this point i think was it i think i saw the other day it was like 10 more weeks till christmas or something um which is crazy i don't feel like i want to do a fantasy next i considered doing the wishing game by meg schaefer but actually i think that would be too short this is just under 400 pages so i think it's very reasonable for me to do in the like 7 hours and 24 minutes or we'll get pretty much all of it done before the timer ends although there were two occasions where i've read a chapter or finished a chapter but hadn't restarted like the timer so it's probably a good 15 minutes where i technically don't have to read but yeah next time i pick up a book it'll likely be this one i don't even know how long it took me to read what lied beyond the veil did i start this when it was like 12 hours 13 it was just under 13 when i was picking up what lies beyond the veil basically 13 apart from 30 seconds left so it's five and a half hours again i think i said that was probably slightly bigger tack as well okay so slight update on my 24 hour readathon i'm taking a pause whilst i'm on holiday i didn't get a chance to complete it i did bring along um guess who it's at my nana's um but whilst i'm on holiday it's i'm not into reading like fantasy i'm reading more romance so i'm just put a pause on it i know it's technically not the same but i just i wanted to keep it realistic to me being at home and because i was wanting to read more fantasy and thriller i just i felt like on holiday that's not what i'm into even though it's a when it's like a cooler windier day like cloudy so technically i could but actually i think it's more of like a cozy romance day rather than obviously romance a lot of romance is a cozy but like, you know what i mean um rather than like a thriller um but yeah i just thought i'd update so yeah so i have seven hours and 24 minutes remaining i obviously was going to re i'm now after my holiday obviously almost a week after sorry um i'm now i was going to read that what other book i can't remember who it was by but i think i'm going to read why he can't find you by darcy coates i have literally just picked my november tbr um so I am going to get through this so at least I can have like partly gone through like my TBR. Obviously I'm not going to finish this today because it's probably going to take me about eight-ish hours. I don't know. But it's just under 400 pages. Like it's literally 395. Probably about going to take me close to 800 hours. The text is kind of regular sized. I'm going to finally finish this video. Not today but maybe tomorrow like tomorrow tomorrow we have to finish it it's a different saturday weeks past the saturday that i wanted to fin potentially finish it on but we will finish it on saturday but let's get reading i currently have bleh, i currently have six hours 12 minutes and 12 seconds remaining um i have officially read part one of this book um and honestly it's so good obviously i've got to have the next Part. so rule one is stay indoors after nightfall or you'll be taken um and then rule two is red thread means a stitch of victim is close by this book is so so good um also i've wanted to play for this uh, play with this mini mic for a while but i thought i'd just hold it for now i only paid like 10 pounds for it i did take it on holiday with me and then i was like yeah no i'm not gonna with my family right next to me film an update clip in like by the pool so it wasn't used which is an absolute disappointment but anyway so so i've read 11 that artwork is absolutely beautiful so i've read 11 chapters and when i start chapter 12 it will be page 112 obviously a few of those pages are literally from um like 
at the end of the chapter also looks like a new part so like this next part is when the next victim gets took and if you've read this book and you've read the blurb or you've just read the blurb you know exactly who that is i'm obviously flying through this book i am gonna read it in under five hours if my calculations are correct um so i need something that's going to be about two and a half hours which none of my books do that like i've got way more to go and so i'm thinking i might pick up um book one of the mind book series how many pages is it i know it's going to take me about two hours 132 pages i with like i've obviously estimated like it's going to take me 4.77 hours with my little maths you know i used a nice little calculator am i a feral book reader like i'm definitely not as quick as emmy i based off of what i've read so far i would highly recommend this so I just happened to, I was looking on Amazon to see if there was like a Kindle version. I could pay like 99p. I'd have to pay like 3 99 by the way, spoiler alert. But it says that the age range for this book is like 14 to 18. And honestly, I would agree. Um, Like you can definitely tell that it's like teenagers. But also, it, I'm like on the edge of my seat at some chapters. I'm like, oh, which is probably why I'm reading it quicker because I'm like, oh, I kind of want to just skip this part, but I'm like, I want to read the whole thing. I love how it's now midnight. I've literally been filming. This clip currently is like mm, 11 and a half minutes, um, which is beautiful. Um, I love that for me in editing. It's only going to be like my wrap up, so at least then I can do my like TBR and like in three days' time. I need to get videos up. Um, but yeah, the I also still need to film my like last clip for my like holiday vlog. And obviously, as you can see, I'm wearing a Christmas freaking jumper. Um, I don't care. I milk my Christmas jumpers. I I'm gonna go out to like the company shop tomorrow. Um, you bet that I'm gonna wear this November. It's like Christmas trees start of December. Christmas jumpers start in November. Like, I'm sorry, but I've got a few Christmas jumpers. I can't have it where I'm only wearing my Christmas jumpers like four times each. Not a chance. I'm pretty sure I bought it from 66 Books. However, this was published right at the start of November of 2023, which means if I did buy it from 66 Books, it would have been right at the start of December and I basically bought it new because I'm like, I don't think I bought this from Tesco. Absolutely not. I'm so glad I picked this up. Like, this would n not have been one that I'd have picked up randomly. Like, I wouldn't have pick probably picked it up from Waterstones. Also, being back home has meant I've spent less on books. Although, when I have spent money on books, I've then, like, hid them in my car and snuck them into the house. So my sister's, like, my sister looks at any book, that, any book that she's not seen. It could have just been in my, like, bookcase. She will literally look at the book and be like, have you been buying new books? Sass on her. The judgment for buying a new book is strong in that one. I learned behaviour from the rest of my family, but it is strong in that one. I'm kind of glad though that I've picked. Obviously, I'm glad I picked it up because I'm really enjoying it. But it's also nice to get through, be getting through like one of my like November TBR already. I literally filmed my November TBR, did the last clip, and then started reading. So it's like two tabs. It's now Monday night. Yes, I know. I didn't finish this on the like Saturday like I hoped or even the Sunday like I hoped. Um, I have three hours and 21 minutes remaining um, and I have finished Where He Can't Find You. I'm rating this five stars. This kept, like this made me feel like slightly tense and like I both wanted to keep reading and also I was like, ooh, I don't want to keep reading. Like, you know that, like, feeling where you know it's, like, a good thriller. Honestly, I just, I loved it. This is my first of the author. I probably said that already. Um, and I definitely think I will read more. Because this was so good. It was so just easy to, like, read. And then, although for the last 100 pages, I did, I did to start with just do it by, like, chapters. Because I was like, oh. And although I knew that towards the end something had to like this certain something had to happen 
I still like the way that it was done. Um, and I would highly recommend that you read it. So, so freaking good. It's, it's one of those weird ones where it's like, it's very slightly different to what you usually read. But also, it's exactly what I needed. Highly, highly recommend. Um, I'm not going to read, I'm, I'm not going to start the first in the Mindfuck series tonight. I'm going to start that like tomorrow just because I want to get a little bit more sleep because I didn't get too much last night. I'm so glad. And also that's one of my November TBR down finished and whatnot. I don't think this is on my 24 for 24, but imagine if it is. Imagine if I actually freaking is. Every day, I'm, like at least once a week, I'm like tempted to like check my like 24 for 24 list and like see how many I've read. I'm just like, no, let's not. But I'm still so tempted. So, so freaking tempted. I haven't filmed a clip on my iPad in a long time, but I wanted to do it for this specific purpose for the 24 hour challenge. I have five minutes in 15 seconds. I'm actually going to end it here based off of the fact that I know during one of my books, I definitely had read like a good like 10 minute chapter where I hadn't like restarted the timer. So because of that, I'm stopping it. And the reason why I stopped it at the five minutes and 15 is because I finished a book. I wasn't expecting to finish this book as soon as I did. I had 41 minutes remaining and I had way more than four. Like I had like a good, was it like a good 50-ish pages or so? Part of me wants to say I was on like, okay, so when I started today, I had like 53 pages left, but obviously 41 minutes remaining. So I was expecting for it to go off whilst I was in like the last few pages. Um, or like the last like, yeah, basically the last few pages. Um, anyway, so the book that I finished in the final book of this video is You've Reached Sam by Dustin Tao. I don't know how you pronounce his surname. I know this isn't like a this isn't technically like fantasy or thriller. I I think I just wasn't fancying the Mindfuck series, which actually isn't really either anyway. But this does have magical realism in. Honestly, this was so good. But also, it's only like a four star. Um, just because I loved it. It was beautiful. It was captivating. It was easy to read. And like the writing was beautiful. I just still didn't fully connect to like the characters and also it's just under 300 pages as well so it's sometimes hard to connect to characters in just under 300 pages but also at the same time I think this book was the kind of like perfect length I think if it was at the like 320 350 mark it would have been too dragged out so actually I think for what it is the length is perfect but it's still like a four star. Like this isn't what I would class as a three and a half star. Could be like a more close to like a 4.25. But still going to be like a four star on Goodreads. Um, and it's good to get another one off of my TBR. Um, but yeah, I have obviously finally, 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 finally. After, when did I start this? I started this a week before or I went on holiday. I'm presuming I started this on the like 10th of October. It took me four weeks. It took me four freaking weeks. That's embarrassing. So I finished off reading um, Divine Marvels. Obviously I'd already started it, but I finished Divine Marvels. I finished Let's Split Up. I finished The Bookstore Sisters. I finished something else. And then I finished You've Reached Am survive the night that's the other one i finished so i've read five books let me check goodreads what have i actually read well first let's update my progress on you've reached down as finished so in this video i forgot about that book <laughs> oops i obviously finished the bookstore sisters divine my rivals let's split up survive the night what lies beyond the veil i completely forgot about that book where he where he can't find you oh my god i forgot i read that book and you've reached out now taking off the short story that was only like it probably only actually took me like 25 minutes to read i read six books how the fuck have i done that how have i read six books 
Granted, let's split up had bigger text and I was already through Divine Rivals. That is crazy. Six books. Um, I do want to do a 24 hour readathon again. That, but that is like six books off of my physical TBR. So, you know, and I bought less than six books last month. Although, oh, I did buy two books. I bought um, Night Thing. Um, which is the second book in the Light Lark series. And I also bought Serpent and Dove. And I bought those from not I bought those from Waterstones. I was gonna say I was gonna say Waterstones and then I think my mind was like, Are you about to say the words? That are crazy to me. Six books. I say I'm not a feral book reader. I do think I was reading this slightly quicker though because I knew that the time was running out and I was like anticipating the, like ring of it um let's cancel that because it's not constantly showing up my sister literally thinks i have an alarm going and obviously i've had it for the past month finally the tab is finished that's another one ticked off i just kind of need to edit now because i've got videos to go up i could go go without filming for this next month i just need to get into editing um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys